Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth session of Mules of Data Wave. Uh, so in today's session, we'll talk about the other 23 functions which we have not discussed in our yesterday class. So my name is Abhishek and I will take the session for today. So before going to the new functions, let us have a small recap like what functions we have seen yesterday. So these are all the 24 functions which we have done in our previous session. So like uh, append if missing, camelize, capitalize, first, last, is numeric, is alpha, is alpha numeric, left pad, right pad. So all this we have seen in our yesterday session. So the agenda for today's session is this one. So like we will discuss about all this 23 functions like where we have map string, we have ord ordinalize, we have uh, pluralize, we have singularize, we have substrings. So substrings are some of the common functions which are used. We have got remove, we have got replace all. So replace all or replace is also used in uh, a lot of logics. Okay, so we'll, we'll check this one by one now. So first let us go with map string. So what it do, okay. So we'll, we'll check this on our uh, data wave uh, code. So this is our map string function. Okay. So for null, anytime it is always null. So what is do it, what it do is, so I have a character like uh, I have this string m2. Okay. And I have this function map string. So what I'm doing is I'm checking if I have a numeric value in my string, then it should be replaced by this. Otherwise it should be replaced by this. Okay. This is what my logic is. So if you'll see, Okay, so now if it is numeric, it should print soft and if it is not numeric, then it should print mule. So I have M and two. So it works on individual character. Okay, so the M is replaced by mule and the two is replaced by soft. Similarly in this, I have a numeric value and I have a lower character. Okay, and I have a map string over here. So I have used the logic is lower. So it will check whether there is any lower case or not. If it is, then that will be replaced by soft and anything other than that will be replaced by mule. So if I make a capital A, which is not lower. So see it change it to mule mule soft. Okay. It, it change it to mule mule soft. So just, just give me one minute. Yeah, sorry for that. Okay, so it replace like uh, it work character by character. It's not like it will uh, work for a complete string. Now suppose if I put mule over here. Okay, so M U L E. Every character will replaced with like uh, so, uh, like the first character which is not lowercase is replaced by mule, and the other all lower will be replaced like character by character with soft. So it is repeating over here. So I have four character which is in lowercase. So four time it is showing me soft. So if I need to put just one character, I need to do it like this. I need to put one character. So it works character by character. Okay, so this is how map string works. So next one is ordinalize. So what it do is, sorry, why it is shifting? I'm not sure it's moving, it's automatically. Okay, next one is ordinalize. So what it do is, it gives you the order of that particular number and it works only with number. Okay, it doesn't work with string. So if I will put string, it will not work. It work only with number and it gives the value like first, second, third. Now if I'll make it 15, 15th. So the normal way like we, we, we say like first, second or fifth or eighth like that. Okay, so it represent the order of this number. This is what ordinalize do. Okay. Next, pluralized. Okay, what pluralized do is if you are giving a string in singular form, it will make it in plural. Okay, so like 
I use the string mule. It mules. OK, it made it uh, like in a, a plural manner. I, I have given it in singular. Mule soft. It added as developer developers. OK, so this is what uh, pluralize do. It make a singular string to a plural form. OK. Next the opposite. Singularize. OK, what it does is if I give a. Plural form, it will make it singular. OK. Now, yeah, can you change the pluralize city? City. Mm -hmm. Can you try What's... that? C I T I C I T Y. OK, for this one. Mm -hmm. Cities. Oh, OK, and if a word is already in. If a word is already in plural form, it will be same. It will not make any change to that. OK, like mule softs. So the same if I remove as. Sorry. Mule soft, then it will put as. OK. Now. Singularize so the just the opposite. If anything is on plural form, it will make it singular. OK, now like you ask for cities. It will make it city. If I make it city, it will be still city. OK. Now. Prepend if missing. Yesterday we have seen append if missing. Now it is prepend if missing. So what it do is. OK, so in append if missing this was coming like this was the uh, suffix part. OK, but now in prepend this become the prefix part. So whatever I give over here, it will go to the last and it will come to the first. If you can see like developers guide, so it became guide developers. OK, now this there is empty and I'm just giving wave, but if I give a space over here, it will come after this. OK, or if I give like suppose if I'm giving data, so it is coming after. So this is the prefix part. OK, and this become the suffix part. OK, so and if this is same like I already have this character, the character which I'm mentioning in the prefix is already there in my uh, like uh, this statement or this string. So it will just like override that. It will not add like mule mule soft. No, it will just append that. OK, it will override that if it is uh, if it is matching. OK, now see MUL is also matching. MU is matching. M is matching. If I do DE, so DE came as a prefix. OK, so pretend if missing. This is what it do. Now remove. So what remove do is like it can remove a word or a character. OK, whatever you defined. Oh, sorry, I've copied everything. OK, now in this <clears throat> welcome to the data view session four and I remove the so welcome to data view session four. OK, please keep yourself unmute. I removed you and so please keep yourself mute. OK, now if I do this, so see wherever I have got you. It has removed like from yourself you is removed from unmute you is removed. OK, so this is like to remove a complete like character or a word <coughs> or a sentence even that like please keep I have removed yourself unmute so it has removed that. OK, any doubt so far? Anyone any doubt till now? OK. Now repeat. Yeah. Yeah, the first slide. Uh, the first one, the first function. In the slide. Map string. Map string. Yeah, yeah. yeah there. Map string. Yeah, map wait, string. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah, here. Yeah, we are writing if else, correct? If else. So if yeah. I don't want to change else thing like M2, I want to only replace uh, uh, this thing, numeric one. I want to only uh -huh. replace soft, M soft, I want to write. So is it compulsory to write else and. 
Okay. Uh, fine. No, here it is compulsory yeah, no. to change. Yeah, else let, let, yeah. let me check that retail. also. Because if I'm putting if condition, then let me check if I can do that. Without uh, else, I don't know. No, because if I am using if I need to use else what I understand in this. Let me remove this. Let me check. No. Text mapper character index. Let us try with something else. If I give suppose zero no it doesn't work like that or maybe uh like maybe some other syntax but uh, with if i go with the syntax then it doesn't work like that we need to give a false condition like something with this map string Okay, in a word, if I want to replace something with some words and I want to retain some other words like here, in then, you, I... then you can use replace now with that. We have replace for that. If I need like uh, now, suppose I have got, I will show you when we'll work on replace. I'll show you that. Okay, okay. fine. In the, okay, in this function, we need to replace both means all the words. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Abhishek, one question. Is it mandatory to use if else in map string? That's what we have seen. Like uh, it's a kind of uh, syntax which I have uh, seen. Like uh, uh, where we need to use if else. Okay, but uh, maybe we'll we'll do uh, small testing after. Like once everything is done, we'll we'll do that as well. Um, Just to check what yeah. we all can do. Okay, but yeah. in this syntax, it is not showing any if, right? In this yeah, it's, not, it's yeah, it's not showing that. But uh, like we'll we'll check that. If we can do like with some index number and this, we'll do that. Oh. Okay. Might be like, okay, let me see this. If we can do this. Uh, map string, comma, index as one. Okay, string comma. Let me see if we can do it like this. Text string mapper character string then index to string. No, let us try it after after this. We'll try it at the end. Okay, repeat. So what repeat do is it will. Yeah. Okay, it will repeat the string which you have given or the character which you have given, but it doesn't work with minus. It works with only positive value. Okay, so now I have repeated like I want to repeat I'll only once so it will show me I'll only once if I want to repeat this character for three times it will repeat this if I want to repeat a string then if it, it will repeat this okay so this is what repeat do next is replace all okay so this is something introduced in 2.4 before that also we use replace but that is like replace with so we'll see that also so now in this I want to like either want to replace one character or a complete string we can use replace all and it will replace it from all the places where i have like in a sentence or in a string okay so now suppose i want to replace the capital u with small u so i have just written that okay now i want to replace u and l with u so it will replace that if i want to suppose i have got uh, e over here okay in this i want to replace the e with a so everywhere where I have got E, it has replaced that with A. Okay. 
this this is what like replace all do we also have a function called replace with that is also like similar to this doing the same thing now suppose i'm writing developers guide okay replace e with a okay so see this is also doing the same thing it is replacing all the e with a so someone has asked like what if we want to replace correct uh, uh, i don't know who was that uh, yeah, who was yeah. that yeah so see then. we can do that using the replace function okay using this replace all or with replace with we can do that so replace all is like uh, introduced in 2.4 data wave version before that we used to have this but now we can like instead of using this we can have replace all function okay if now reverse space, yeah with space sorry if we use space instead of instead, instead of, of a replace uh, just space okay. yeah okay yeah now reverse so like uh, yesterday also we saw that like when i was explaining to a lady for reversing so it will just reverse your string okay so this is how it will do like it if you are writing something it will reverse that so i have already written it in reverse order but now if i use this over here it will reverse okay it will reverse one more way to do is uh, like using that uh, substring value now suppose this is i have now this i have suppose i have the value is 8 the length is 8 so what i can do is 1 2 What? Okay, I have not given an index. Okay, one to seven. One to seven. No. Six. Yeah, one to one to zero. Yeah. So see, I can replace. I can reverse it like this as well. Like this is uh, at the zero index and minus one means from the back. I'm I'm taking it from the back. So I can reverse it in this way also. So instead of writing this. I can simply use the reverse keyword. Okay. And it will reverse your string. So this is also something introduced in version 2.4. Okay. Now some character. So yesterday we have seen a similar like of this, like uh, where uh, uh, we have seen uh, every character. Okay. Now today we have some character so in every character it was checking like the condition which we have provided is it matching with all the value which we have provided okay but in some character at least if that particular uh, uh checking which we are doing like is upper at least that is present or not if there is any one character which is in uppercase it will give us true okay now is numeric at least one numeric value should be there then it will give us true. Now, suppose if I use this particular over here, okay. Still, it, it is giving me true because I have at least one numeric value. If I remove this, it will be false. Okay. And for null, it is always false, whatever condition you give. But some character means at least one. Okay. At most, it can be any, but at least the uh, checking which I am doing, there should be one character for that. Okay. Now substring. So like here after I have few slides, like few functions which we need to pay little attention. Okay, these are like uh, commonly used, I can say. So this is substring. This particular function was introduced in 2.4. Okay, before that we were using some other logic which I'll show you. Like I've shown you again, like a few minutes ago, but I'll show you again. So what substring is, as we know, like we'll give the first index and the last index, like till what we need to do the substring, like we need to, uh, cut off our statement or our uh, string so it does uh, it it will do that okay just the thing is it doesn't work with negative okay sorry sorry uh, it works with negative as well so the way we do it like minus one two okay something but when we do it minus one two five 
what it do is it reverse that or it take it from the last. But when we use minus over here, it treat it as zero. So the index becomes zero over here. So in that way, it doesn't give us nil, but uh, null, but it take it as zero index. Now when I have given minus one, it is taking this, which is the zero index. Okay, it will not give you null, but it will be treated as zero. Because if I'll give zero over here, I'm giving, I'm getting same value. If I give minus one also, it is giving me same value. What if I do minus two? Okay, still from the beginning, that is the index is zero. So minus doesn't work with this substring uh, function. But if I want to like do it reverse, if I want to do substring, there is one more way, which is like this bracket one. This one, like I can do it in this way also, like one, two, five. This will also give me the same value. Okay, zero to five, uh, the I same value. Just one minute. If I do minus one to five, hello. Uh, you are saying that. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, so, like you are saying, so minus won't be like even, even, even if I gave. Your I, your voice I, is I, not clear. I, I'm not getting so what you're asking. Your voice is not clear. Oh. If anyone has query, first ask in chat and then you can. We will take query from there. Hello. Yeah. Is it audible? No, uh, it's breaking in between. Uh, uh, you can sorry, put it on I... chat, maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So see, like when I use this, okay, this also do the same thing. This also do substring. Okay. When I do zero, it's giving me same. Okay, zero to five. Okay. If I do one, okay then from index one to index five. OK, if I do minus one over here, so it give me from reverse. OK, it works over here. But if I use this function, which is the substring function over there, I cannot give minus one. If I do that, it will treat it as zero. OK. So, so it will treat it as zero. OK, coming to the question, what? Uh, he was asking. Uh, yeah, so he was asking what index. So yeah, in in uh, like uh, array, we we don't have any negative index. So if you will give negative index, automatically it will be treated as first index that is zero at. Index means the position. Okay, index means the position of this particular character. And in computer language, the index start with zero. So this first. As it is in the first position, the index is zero for this. That's what index means. Yeah, so no, actually, like uh, y minus is treated as uh, zero. So zero, actually, okay. in, in, actually, so in, in, don't have yeah minus mm -hmm. index in any uh, string or array. So automatically, that will be converted into first index that is zero. Eight. And the thing is like the syntax for this, it doesn't allow like negative values. That's why also it is treating as a zero for this. Okay. I think we have two, three query. Difference between yeah. reverse and predefined missing. That is pretend if missing is saying, okay. Pretend if missing, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So refer, uh, so reverse means you're reversing the string. Okay, so now let me, take it again so reverse means if i have given a word if i have given a string it is reversing that now say this i have given a readable format of this like from starting to end which is developers guide but it has reversed it okay it has reversed it but what pretend uh, prepend if does is it doesn't reverse the string it just changed the prefix or suffix part. This is my prefix. Okay. And this become my suffix. So I am like, this is the first, this is my original string, which I am giving. But what I want is this string. The second string should be the prefix for that. It should come first, then this string should come. So this is what it is doing. Okay. Just the opposite was append if. Okay. What append if was doing is. 
append was taking it as suffix. So this is my original string. This is my second string. So this will come first and this will come last. OK, this is what append if does and pretend uh, prepend if is the second character will be the prefix. The second uh, statement will be the prefix. OK, it will tra treat that as prefix and reverse will reverse the string. That's the difference between them. Sir, I hope that answer. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, I have one query. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sir. Uh, just uh, previous slide. Go to previous slide, sir. Oh, which one? This one? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, when we want a developer guide in between the space, so what we can do? In between the space for substring? Uh, yeah, sir. In between. Okay, space? Sir, okay. This is this is this is a string. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I, I will huh. get my answer. Sorry, sir. You get your answer. Yeah, because okay. this is string, sir. No? Okay, okay. Yeah, this is string. I'm I'm providing that. Yeah, 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 sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Can you go for one prepend if missing? Prepend if missing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah, uh, prepend, yeah, just prepend is missing. Mules of mule is already here itself. That's why it came mules of. If we Correct. remove the missing, then we will get mule mules of. If we remove the missing, is means uh, if you remove this, uh, if we remove missing, missing, yeah, the keyword itself, yeah, the total keyword of it. It's a keyword. Okay. It's a function. It's a complete function. I'm not. I have not created that. Like it's a function, okay. predefined function. Predefined. So if if you want to do any th uh, such type of function, like which you need to create, so that is another logic. Okay, where you can write a .dot dwl file in your API, you can uh, define some custom function over there, and that you can include in your data wave. So we'll do that when we uh, when we'll do like uh, in our other other session. We'll we'll show you that also, like how we can do that, how we can use a customized module. Okay. Okay, okay. And uh, what if we required mule mules of required? Since they are only soft written, now, we are writing huh? And uh, while uh, while using another function like uh, mule mules of, I want to print what? In that. So there are there are many things like you concatenate this uh, that with plus plus. Okay, yeah. or okay. Uh, like yesterday we have also seen some function where we can do that. So we have other function for that as well, like. Okay, yesterday we have done that. Like, uh, we'll we'll share you the video. You can see that all those we have done. Like, we can concatenate and we can do there a lot of other stuff. Obviously, uh, prepend yeah. if missing is case sensitive. Like, uh, if you write small mule m small and in uh, first word we use uh, capital M. Okay. Right here, yeah. mules and sm uh, this yeah. one small. Okay, it's case sensitive. Because this is an individual string. This is an individual string. Correct. Okay, okay. I thought that uh, the same word. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now substring after. Okay. So this is an old function. Okay. Uh, in maybe introduce in uh, data with 2.2. Okay. So what it do is. So uh, this is like for null. It is null. Now this is my string. Okay. And I have like separated it with a dash. And I'm saying like substring the value after dash. Okay, so it is substrate. Uh, sub, it has done a substring for that. Now, what if I have one more dash over here? Okay, so substring after will take the first dash only. Okay, it will not separate it with all the dashes. It will take the first dash, the first character which we have defined. Now in this in this developer's guide, I have separated it with S. So my S is in this position and it is once. If I do it with E, so my first E value, like first position for E is this, this one, index one. So after that, I am getting all this. It is not like wherever I am getting E, it will separate it from there. It will do a substring. No. The first occurrence, that is string after. It, it, this is the function what it does. So the first occurrence of the 
character which I have provided to substring. Okay. Similarly, we have substring last. Okay. What it does. It will find the last occurrence of that character which I have defined over here. Okay. Now in this case, I have three dashes. Okay. And I have given substring after last. That means the last occurrence of this dash and substring after that and show me the result after that. Now for E. Okay. I have developers guides. So E the last is at, at this position at the last position. Okay. At this position. So I am getting S. if I remove S. So I have nothing after E the last position of E and after that I have and nothing. So it is giving me empty for this one. This is my last slash. So it is showing me session. If I write I over here, it will give me on because my last occurrence of I is over here in this position. After that I have only on. So this is what string after last two. So the difference between string after and string after last is string after take the first occurrence of the character which we have defined and show the other strings string after last checks the last occurrence of that character which we have defined and show the string after that. Okay. Now substring before as the name suggest. Okay. So again in this. Okay. I have one dash and the dash what I like the character which I have defined for substring before it will show me the character before that uh, partition before that substring character which I have provided. It will show me the character before that. Okay. Now as I have two s over here. Okay, but what it has taken the first s it has taken the first s from this uh, statement and it has shown me the character uh, the strings before that s. Okay, even though we have first uh, even though we have two s's. Okay, so it will take the first occurrence of the character from left to right. Okay, the first occurrence and show us the uh, string before that or the character before that. Now if I suppose write E over here, I have multiple times. I have E multiple times over here. Okay, there's this here also, but it takes the first occurrence of E and it show me that. Okay, so this is what substring before does. Now substring before last. Okay, again same. So what it will do is the character which I have defined for the substring part if it is present then it will choose the last character of that particular character and show us the value before that. And now in this case dash I have three dash again. Okay, the last dash is at this part before FT. So it is showing me the result before this particular dash here. I have got E. Okay, before E I have got all these strings. So this has shown me this all characters this particular string. Okay. Even though I remove S, S is all already at the last part. So it is showing me everything before that. And this slash slash, this is the last slash. So this is showing me before that. If I write again, if I do it as I, so this part it is showing to me. Okay. Now substring by. Okay, so what it does is so I have given like wherever I have the occurrence of this particular dash, it should substring by like substring or create a, a new line for all those. So like I have three dashes. So when I do substring by, <coughs> it has created all this in a new line in an array. Okay, here I have defined it as E. So it has substring all that. Like wherever there is an occurrence of E here I have got slash. So it has done slash. If I want I can do it for two like I can add or dollar this and I can suppose I will do it as uh, I can take it as E. Okay, so substring by E. So as this character is defined. So this is missing, but 
it has divided that okay it has divided all that part and brought it into a new line okay if i remove this dash so that space is removed because i have an extra character over there where i have defining dash also and e also now why this dollar the dollar uh, simplifies the index value okay that's why we have used dollar it's it it uh, simplifies the index value okay so this is what substring by does so any question till now okay yeah. we have one more Hello. just one more just one more we have substring every let let me explain this then we'll take the question till now this so we'll see other thing also like what you suggest okay now substring every means after every two index we need to substring okay so i have here i have given the length two so it is substring it has done a substring for this every after every length of two here i have uh, four <clears throat> so every four six so every six here i don't have any extra index after that six 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 so it is giving me only the remaining part so it is not like it will add some spaces or something if it is up to like if, if it is only four character it will show me four character okay it will it will not add uh, any extra padding or anything okay so this is what substring every does okay yeah and this is introduced in uh, version 2.4 yeah yeah please your question what you're asking uh, in substring by like we yeah. we are uh, dividing it by dash or like that uh, so we can also do it by split by na? yeah we can do that we can uh, use like split by yeah 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 we can do same thing okay, okay. so this is just an like they have given one more thing and this is introduced in 2.4 okay but we can do that any other question abhishek uh, neeraj here uh, narendra here uh, here yeah. for this thing um, can we use this functions substrings every and uh, these all functions for numbers if you don't uh, if you give directly the numbers here We'll numbers see, yes. see the name suggests substring okay so i mm. hope it needs only string if i give number mm. see it's making it string okay but the functions are working for all the numbers right yeah it's working well, it's uh, giving this uh, green this error kind of thing uh, error like a kind of uh, warning, warning or something yeah. yeah like you need to convert it to two string because i am giving number like mm -hmm. if i do it as suppose as string if i make it this then the warning is removed yeah the warning because is because removed. because we are working on strings na the the uh, like uh, the function itself defines substring that is like mm -hmm. working on string it it's working on number but then it is converting it to string uh, these all functions are working behaving as same as for all the numbers actually so, uh, so can we use, to, if, you... if, if we have a requirement of like reversing a number one two three four five six if i use mm -hmm. reverse it will give me six five four three two one so Let's can i use the yeah. substring function to make my need for numbers uh, in what way like using the substring function or using that uh, dash, mm -hmm. uh, the bracket one I... which i have used one two five yeah this core this module is for uh, in um, modification of uh, strings substring yeah this, yes uh, okay. modification of these strings so this core, this module i'm talking about bw core strings it's working on all the strings that i yes see. yeah so, yeah yeah so it's working but, for number also but it is converting that as string so now this like i use substring okay, okay. so this is working on this number although it's giving me a warning but it is working and it is converting that into string so now later on like what you can do is like you can uh, <clears throat> make it as number like this okay. can you use that function reverse reverse for uh, yeah yeah, one yeah. Minute. just one minute i will do that see i change it to number so you need to put extra logic on that so you want the reverse function or the bracket one which i have used uh, reverse function reverse function missing yeah if i remove this as number can you see yeah. this is one i let can me remove this part more. see you, can you see my screen yes yes i'm able to see yeah if i remove this mm -hmm. it will act as a string 
as number it will convert into number also one more thing you can do is like minus one two zero uh it is giving me 64y okay it works something else okay binary okay it has it's not working on this one in like this let me make it string okay it worked now but when it make it as number okay it converting it into some binary so this one is not possible like this but yeah it is working when we are doing reverse okay it will give me none that's fine yeah okay something new to me as well so we can do this only on string this particular way but if we use reverse the function if you'll do then it will work so this is the difference like why this particular function is useful for number like we cannot do the other thing for number but we can do this for number Cool. Yeah. Thanks. For, for this thing, uh, if we use for all the modification of all these function on numbers, I think we will get the desired output. If output, we put yeah. S number, if we put S number, we can make use correct, of correct. all this. Yeah, we'll we'll numbers. we'll test that. We'll test that. Once I once we complete this, so when we'll have the Q and A, then we'll test once again all of them. Okay. Yeah. We'll try that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now underscore so what it does is so again for null is null so wherever i have a separation suppose like maybe with a camelized format or a space or like with dash okay or maybe if i make it a capital okay so wherever i have a separation or some like unusual behavior like where i have got uh, some spike like this is a camelized one this mills off so it will put underscore over there okay now if i make it as small as no difference because it is of same case okay what if i put it as m okay it is making it as small it is making all as the same character okay let me do this yeah now it works so if i have a unusual behavior like this then it will make create an underscore like if i have space if i have dash okay if what if i have slash so it doesn't work on slash okay what if i have star it doesn't work with star it work with dash okay it work with space it work with uh, camelized form okay so this is what underscore do if i remove this it will make it as lowercase like the first character it doesn't make an underscore before that okay but if i put a capital character over here then it sends that and it put an underscore between that okay what if i put it at last sorry it put an underscore because it sends okay there is a character at the last which is a capital character and uh, it put underscore over there okay so this uh, is what can we do yeah with a, can we huh? do with a number number yeah okay let us try no it gives us some other value if i convert it as string no it doesn't give the correct value for number it works with string. Okay. It's subtracting, I think. Yeah, it's subtracting, I think. It doesn't doesn't work. Because when you put a dash, that means it's a string part. It's not a number, correct? If I simply give this, it will display me this. So we are what when we are doing underscore, underscore oh. is a yeah. Vishak, can you do the alpha numeric uh, one to three ABC something like that? Yeah, see, this is one to three, and I have given a dash. So now it is a string. When I do it as this one, so let me do ABC. 
Yeah, this is how it works. So when I give quotes, that means string, but when I don't give quotes, then it is a number. And it doesn't work with number. It will work with string because underscore is a special character and that's a string. Okay, uh, unwrap. Okay. Yeah. Anyone? Why can it separate only from A, B? Because we are working can on string. Huh? A, B is a string. A, B, C, these all are string and dash underscore. They are special characters, so they are also a part of string. That's why it's working on alphabets, uh, all alphanumeric values, but not on numeric values. Getting my point? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Oh, can, can you please previous screen? Yeah. ABC. Mm -hmm. Tell me. ABC, C also string, I think. Huh, C is a string. ABC, okay. So this was capital, no? Okay, it works. Fine. It works on camel eyes. Okay, fine. Okay, it works on dash. It doesn't work on like slash or star like that. Okay, it works on spaces. Okay, okay. thank you. Mm. Yeah. Unwrap. Okay, so this is uh, like a little bit tricky because it works a little bit different with a uh, different character. So now unwrap means like if I have a character like this and uh, which is like at the starting or at the uh, like uh, last that means wrapping this particular string so if i need to unwrap that that character then i can use this uh, like this function so like my this correct uh, this string is wrapped with hash so i used hash okay but I, if i remove this then what it do is like it remove this hash but it also remove the last part like the last uh, character okay now, if I put suppose M, okay, so it is not wrapped with M, okay. So if I remove this, okay, it removed M, but it also removed the last, okay. So this work like a little bit uh, different in that way, because if it is getting the uh, character which we have defined on the first place, it removes that, but along with that, it also removed the last character if it is not matching. So if I put a M over here, like wrapped with M, then I can see T also, okay. But if I remove this, it doesn't show me that, okay. But it work differently with single character. Now in this case, I have A and a hash, which is at the last part. So when I remove that particular character, it remove it from the last, but it put it at the first place. But it, it, it has given that also, okay. Now in this case, I have to remove space. So it is like a trim. Okay, we have used in trim like the, there was a trim function where it can remove the spaces from the first and last part. Okay, so this worked the same way. It has removed the spaces from the first and last part. Okay, again in this case, I have a hash in the first place, but I don't have a hash at last. So it has removed the first part, but it has also removed the uh, last as also. Okay, but it won't work like if you put anything which is in in middle. So like E. It is in the middle. It is not wrapped like the first. The string is not wrapped with that, so it will not work on this type of uh, scenario. Uh, one small question: Like, how about yeah. with our special characters? What about with the special characters? So suppose, like, I have a string with the uh, star or hash. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So see, like, I start. Uh, I did with slash. Okay, so if I am doing it on a single character, it has removed the last slash, but it has put one. Now let me take a bigger one, like you said, star. Okay, let us try. Uh, A, B, okay, H, star. So it has removed the first and the last, just one index, not the complete one. Now let me suppose we do for at the rate. Okay, so it removed the at the rate. 
same if uh, I do with this, underscore. Yeah. Tap in. Actually, it means actually it will remove just the starting the first one and the line. last. Yeah, yeah. One one index, not the complete one. Like we're not replacing it. We are just unwrapping it. OK, so the first and the last index. That's it. Okay. Uh, can we have at the rate and uh, underscore like uh, slash in the same comp, uh, string? Like this? Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Will it work? Or? It works. You see, I have uh, what I've told you. Like, suppose this is my character. So, what it does, it work little weird is in the sense. Now, my first one is hash, which I have defined over here. But I don't have a hash at the last, so it is not wrapped with hash. But still, I'm giving that character. So what it does, it it removes the hash from the first index, but it also removes s. Okay, so I am defining hash, and that character is present either in the first index or the last index. If it is present, so it will remove from that index, but it will also take the other index, like from the value. So now I don't have a hash in this, so nothing happens. Okay, if I put a hash. So it removed the hash from the last, but it also took the D, the first index as well. Okay, so in this way it works like it, it need to have the same index, the same uh, character which we are providing that need to be present in the first index and the last index, then it will work properly. Okay, in this case, I have at the rate at the first index, but I don't have at the rate, I have slash. So what it does, it removed at the rate, but it also removed the slash because it is not finding a at the rate at the last. So it just remove the last index. OK, if I put at the rate, I can see the slash now because it is completely wrapped. OK, so this is my valid input where I am wrapping it with at the rate. So it is working on that. But if I remove at the rate from last, that means I am not wrapping it with at the rate, but I am saying OK, unwrap it with at the rate. So it will remove the last last index also. Uh, basically, oh, okay. what you are trying to say is like, you know, uh, first of all, it will check in the Starting character, so mm -hmm. if it is matching, so then only it will remove both front and back. Correct. It will so, check for that. Uh, it will check like the zero index and the length of that index. So the last index of that particular string contained with the character which we have provided. Then it will remove that. If not, it will just find whether that particular character is present in the last or end, either in the last or at the end. If it is present at the end. So it will remove the end part, but it will also remove one character from your uh, string. Okay, yeah, but uh, character he, in the he, sense like it, it's from the starting point. Only so, yeah, I, only starting or at the end, not from the middle. Got it. Yeah. So now this bracket, Wait, this bracket. No doubt. Uh, yeah. You, the the way it works for the A B C, like if we do have a slash at the end and uh, at the start, and we don't have the slash at the end. In that case, it's removing the last letter, right? Yeah. Of the string. And uh, why does it act in a different way for the E com E actually? Because in the in here, it's ge getting added at the initial, like uh, the first stage. Which uh, one you saying? This one. Yeah. Like uh, the earlier, you showed that it is wrapped mm -hmm. uh, slash A. Right. Hmm. This one. It was just a slash and uh, the component was slash in the end. Just a character you're saying, correct? No, uh, I'll one. just give you the uh, e equals to a slash. No, and uh, the component is at the yeah. Here uh, it's getting added uh, a slash before the a. Correct. So that's I, what I said earlier. Yeah, like it it works I, weird. See, see, it works differently for just a single character. Now there is nothing to remove with A. A is just one character. There is nothing at front. There is nothing at back. Just a slash oh. is there at this index. Okay. So it is not a complete string. It's just a character. Okay. okay. So it is not getting it. So it is putting it. Now if I put oh. a slash, it is giving me A. Now there oh. is nothing to take it. Like what it will take. From okay. this particular character, it cannot take anything. It's just one uh, particular uh, character, just at okay. at one index. Correct. Okay. So automatically, yeah. it has added a point over there. Well, thanks. Okay. Now. So Abhishek, uh, yeah. here what, what it the unwrap function will do basically with the second parameter. In which situation we, we can use that one? Uh, 
now suppose uh, you have given uh, like any special characters uh, for any string and you want that when it is like uh, to make to there there might be some logic where you need to pass something uh, with some characters now in this case okay i have a i have a situation where i need to pass it with this particular hash i need to wrap this uh, string with hash but when it goes to some other uh, like end system i need to send only this particular uh, string not the hash in that case oh. i can use unwrap okay yeah got it yeah thank you abhishek yeah yeah oh okay. i i sorry abhishek actually uh, yeah. but uh, I just wanted to check actually on uh, for the unwrap actually, which uh, uh, the previously the guy was explaining the for the slash part. Uh, I was not able to understand like, you know, uh, a slash and slash and it's added in the output as a slash. So mm -hmm. uh, can you bit explain more about that part? Yeah, so the thing is like it worked differently for a string and a single character. OK, now in this we don't have anything to take it like in this case when I have removed this, so it's a complete string. So it has removed the first occurrence of that of this one. Also from the last it has removed as because it's a complete string. So there is something to take it from this, but in this character in this part, it has only one character. OK, so when it is not getting anything, it is not getting another slash over here. So what it is doing automatically it is adding. So this is like some fun functionality of this function its own. So there is nothing to take it from this character because it is just a single character. So automatically it is like adding that. So it's a behavior of this function. Uh, this, okay. this function is automatically behaving like that. Can you make that as a string instead of the character? Uh, so, put a double quote on the slash. Like this? Uh, no, 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 like uh, I'm talking about the next next uh, character. So instead of you put a single quote for that slash character, right? Like, can you mark it as like, like double slash? Okay, double slash. You are saying like this? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, double quote uh, for the second uh, second string after comma. Actually, can you make it as like double string? Like, like it's now oh. it's treated as a character. So can you make it as like string? Uh, this one as a string, like a single character is also a string. Like this is also a string part. Okay, uh, you are you saying make it, uh, yeah. like uh, how you're saying like this. Yeah, you can put it on chat. Otherwise, what you want? You can put it on chat like how you want it. Oh, you anyway. Know? is asking to keep your double quotes. No, yeah. I put double quotes, but uh, like how you want like this is one way we can uh, do just it. Remove the single quote. Just remove the single quote. Yeah, uh, put a double quote uh, instead of the single quote. So single quote is also representing string on also now. So now I can put double quote over here. So the meaning is same du double quote and single quote both are both represent string only. There is uh, no difference. The character actually double quote is a string. OK, so I know. Uh, no, like uh, see uh, my string will work with single quote also. Uh, basically, it's not a string. OK, uh, I just wanted to okay. understand the last point actually your 10th row. I'm still I'm not able to understand like why mm -hmm. it is appending the slash in front of a. a. Yeah, so this is like a like a inner functionality of this unwrap. Like if it is just a character, okay. Even though if I make it like this also, if it's a if it's a single character, then it is appending like that. So it is mostly like unwrap means you should have both the characters at the front and at the end. Okay, if you are not giving that, that means uh, it is not wrapped with that function. So that function will not work if you are not uh, putting that character uh, in in your string. Because when I say like unwrap for hash, so I am just I am not wrapping this string with hash. I have just given a character hash at the beginning, but I am not wrapping it. Wrapping means I am giving at both the end. When I give uh, it, uh, at yeah, yeah I, I I agree with that point actually. Like mm -hmm. I am okay with the other points, but mm -hmm. so the below yeah, one yeah, is this, like no this part. Line, yeah, this like part. It's this part. Especially it's adding the slash Correct. in front of a. So. Correct. So this is this is this is a little weird to me also like why it is adding, but this is what I found like it's just a functionality of this like it automatically behaves like that. 
where uh, like if i if i don't find a character at the beginning it just add that which should not be like either it should remove the complete thing from this or it should not work on this okay but it's automatically add that like if i if i work with hash also it's not like only slash but if i work with hash also then again it's putting that particular character at the beginning okay let me try with some other character like if i try with a it's putting a again so it behaves like that abhishek i think we can check the logic of this unwrap unwrap means like you need to be the string need to be wrapped with that now if i put a over here so it will give me proper because i am wrapping my character or my string with that particular character which i have defined over here okay then it will work the meaning of unwrap is if i am wrapping uh, my string with some character which i need to unwrap then i the, that character need to be at the first and the last part then only it will work uh, abhishek i think if we want in detail we can check the logic of it right from the transform message so this is the transform message not okay. here in the any point studio we can okay check. plugin you are saying no i mean our normal any point studio ha huh, so there also it will uh, it will work like this is also a data with no, thing no, i think i am telling like we can open the logic of it like there is an option we can open the logic and see of each and every function okay okay fine we'll see that i i sure, okay. will do that abhishek hmm abhishek for e uh, you mentioned like unwrap uh, uh, single quotation a a comma uh, a right in second hmm. parameter is that possible to give like a string instead of single character yeah we can do that this one you are saying uh what if yeah. there is no character no, no, no. Uh, here see in this uh, closed bracket we have two parameters right first one and second one yeah here okay in this here, as a string okay yeah as a string uh what if it is an empty string or uh, do we get any value just just a, a double quotes will that work okay it doesn't work with a long string what if i make it like this no it it removing only the first and the last character it works only on character like we cannot give string over here now if i give a again same no only just a character we can give not a string okay you said for empty mm, not uh, not for empty actually in second parameter uh, uh, we have to is that hello more characters or more special characters no it is it is not allowing it's allowing only Let single character and special characters special characters yeah let me try with this what if i put this still only works for only one not the both just a single character it's working so your uh, small question actually even if it is like if you are passing it a second parameter as a string so it will consider only one character only one character yeah and that that to also like the first character from this string not the like last or something like if i remove this still it is showing me bh so the first character from this string as well in the second part so it takes only one character and that is the zero index okay or can you add a in the starting of uh, the first string this one yeah uh, at the end of that yeah. uh, uh still i i don't think it's, it's still working. yeah it's not working now it worked like if i remove this it worked like this but if i add double a oh, it like work. okay uh, i yeah. i saw one more difference actually just like you removed but mm -hmm. i also got removed so can yeah, you remove see, that so yes. that's what i said oh. like uh, it works little okay. weird like in this case also when i when i put just hash so it removed hash but it also removed the last character so what it does is like if this particular get satisfied over here it removed that part but it also remove one more like either from the first or the last like if it is present at the first then it will remove something from the last as well 
Oh, so, irrespective of the character. Yeah, it's irrespective of the character, the whatever it is. It will remove something from the first and last. Uh, will that happen in all the case? Yes. Oh, okay. So can can you do it for ninth row? Uh, for the ninth uh, one, actually, just remove the space in the last. See, uh, now it is not removing. Oh, oh okay. It removed. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let us go on the other part. Otherwise, we'll go out of uh, time. Uh, I was just. Can you take the chat ones? Uh, let us take it in some time because we have already taken so much time into this. We'll see the logic. Let us let us finish other. We don't have much. We have four. Okay. Let us finish that. Then we'll come with that again. Okay. We'll come up again with the quotients and everything. Okay. Let me check with with max size. Okay, what it does is like it's uh, we, we can say it's also a type of substring like what it does. The like if I'm providing a string and with that uh, with max size like I'm providing the length like I need only the uh, within the string I need it with uh, for only length seven. So it will show me only that particular like uh, length and it will remove the other part. But if I'm giving 10 and it is of length 10, uh, 8, and I'm giving a, a greater size, then it will show me all of that string, but it will, it will not uh, include any uh, padding or any spaces. Okay, but it doesn't work with zero. Like if I give zero means I'm not giving anything and it, it will print the complete string forming. So this is what with max size do like we can say it is a kind of substring like in substring we need to provide the index but in this we just provide the length and it works over the length like it will show me uh, just that part but if i do zero minus it doesn't work with minus it doesn't work with negative okay it work with positive okay, uh, uh, but what is the difference between substring and this one in substring, we can give a particular length like I want it from index one to index five or index two to index five. But in this, we are just giving length. We are not defining like from which which index to which index we need to give. So in substring, I can take it as zero to five also. That is like the length is five, suppose. But in this, I'm just giving the length like till what length I need my string. I'm not giving any index value like, okay, I need it from two to six or two to something. I'm just giving a length and it is taking from zero index every time. So zero is the default index over there and this is the like uh, length of that and it will print up to that only. Oh, OK, so we, uh, so which means actually in the, with this function, so there is no uh, uh, index part. Index part, correct. Yeah, uh, starting by default, point. By default, the starting point is zero. Oh, by okay. default, the starting point, the starting index is zero. And it just work on the length of your uh, string. Got it. Now I give it 14. So till this, the, the character is 14, so it will work on that. So the length is 14 and it's work on that. If I give it 15, it will show me the complete thing. But it will not give extra spaces like your length is 8, like this is the length 8, and I have given 10. So it is not adding extra spaces. Okay. Now words. So this is also introduced in version 2.4. Okay, words. What it do is like it probably work on so like slash n and tabs. So slash n is for new line and uh, tab or like uh, slash t is for tab. But what it do is like whenever we are getting uh, like space or slash uh, like this n or this tabs, it move that into a new line. So like in previous session, we have a uh, function called line. So whenever we give slash and it move that part to a new line. But in this case, if I give multiple slash and also it will not make that many lines. It will treat it as one and it will put that in one line. If I have got spaces, it will put that in a separate line. If I have got tab, it will put, put that in separate line. So it works with this type of characters. It works with this type of characters. It works with space. It doesn't work with uh, this, like underscore or dash or this type of characters. Uh, one more question, actually. Like, what about uh, like you know, basically uh, in Windows, it will take a slash R and slash N. So okay. try that because like you know, Linux and um, yeah, 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 yeah. I tried that. Yeah. So just a single line. 
a new line the same way how n was performing the same way as r if i put one more r let's see what happened still just one line if i put oh. one more slash n over here just one line okay so this is can, how words can we use uh, special characters over there like you know uh just to escape escape character because like at the end of the string actually i just want to have a slash n so can at we at the end like this uh, here at the end example, for example uh, so output is like welcome right after mm -hmm. that in the output actually i just want to see slash n again this uh no not in the, like i just want to see in the output slash n again like no like it, it no here it will not work that's what i say like if you are putting anything like this like slash n or slash t it will treat that as a separate line or if you do space that will treat as a separate separate line here it will not work it will not work as a string so you are saying like in this it should be welcome slash n correct yeah for this for this it will not work uh basically like i just want to uh ask you like you know can we use some kind of uh, escape characters in the data expression in this function no we cannot that's what like we are using scap characters and uh, it's not working now so like uh, if, like can you use double slash and okay so then this is a single string hmm okay. if i do okay if i do it like this let's see what happen it treated as single string or if i do it like this still a string mm -hmm. if yeah it doesn't work like that it will like uh, if we are giving slash and then it will treat it as a separate or uh, like entity and it will put it into a uh, separate line mm. okay so just do we have okay wrap if missing okay we we had a lot of discussion with unwrap so now wrap if missing let's see how it works okay so now in this case it will not remove anything just what it will do if you have mentioned a character and that character is not present so it will add that it will not like uh, duplicate uh, like it will not uh, have a new character like it will not add but it will like override and it will add okay now let's see if we can put a string or here over here yeah we can put a complete string also uh, okay uh, looks i think uh, it's familiar but uh, we just wanted to check one more thing like mm -hmm. suppose what if it's already wrapped already wrapped yeah okay with both the uh, both that thing correct mm -hmm. okay so in this like now suppose this is already wrapped so it will just override uh, okay. like here i have here I, here i have already that uh, so can if I it is Hmm. some special characters over there what all you want like say i will put this slash n slash n, slash n okay only uh, slash n only slash n yeah yeah no uh, not with the backward actually forward this hmm. okay so wrap hmm. if missing it will overwrite okay it will not do a duplicate like suppose i have a slash n over here so it will not create one more it will just override that if it is yeah. present it will override if it is not present then it will insert okay hmm. now the last one wrap with okay so in this case it's duplicate now if you see i have a hash already and i don't have a hash over here so it will include a hash and a hash at last here i already have a hash at beginning a hash at last still it's put one over here now here let us see with string it put that if i already have that suppose i already have that over here uh, still it put it yeah now i think like uh, it's very clear on this part uh, yeah. but can we do it with uh, empty space in empty the both of place like uh, just a space like this space in both of place both a string 
OK, an extra space in both the strings. So here I have that. I have that one over here. This one, if you'll see, I have a oh, space can, over here. No, 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 no. Can you remove the mule also? OK, here also. Uh, remove mule. Mule, OK, empty you are saying? Yeah, so both are empty. Both empty. Yep. Both empty means nothing. We uh, can not add a empty. space between both. Like this. So OK, so there are two space basically like uh, what's the output? Actually, there are three. Spaces. This is the three spaces. Yeah, oh, here okay. I have got here. I've got one space here. Mm -hmm. I have wrapped it one space and here I have got three space. So it has appended that at the first and end and my middle mm -hmm. space is oh. what I have provided. So oh. this is like if I put a that means a space at the beginning and space at the last. Uh, can we add slash in? Yeah, I tried that with both. Like this is one way, slash n. Uh, this no, is the other not, way you not want. Here, not here. Not uh -huh. here. Oh, in the starting point actually, because like basically. It's I think big. for a better question, you can. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my character, and it has added both at the first and end. Okay. OK. So this is all we have. OK, so let us do a small recap what we have done like uh, append if uh, no, this is from yesterday. OK, map string ordinary pluralize singularize some characters substring wrap if missing unwrap underscore all this we have seen. So now we can check one by one like we had a doubt on map string first. So let us take that. So let us see what all possible syntax we can write for this. OK, I will just remove this and we'll try with one. I will just make it as a non object part. OK, now let us see how it works. So what if I don't want to use if and else over here? So let us see the syntax. So it says like capable text that is in string, then comma a mapper, which is character string and a index number that will provide that should be a string so how it should work so can can you can anyone suggest like how i should do this so first one is string that is my string i got that i have got my mapper i've got that function over here okay now it says like character that is a string format a index number so what i understand is what if i can do it like this OK, we got something like this. So soft soft it has removed both the part. If I give index one. No, it won't work like this. Index number. String. Hmm. What does that mean? Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, 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 please. OK, can, like I think I missed previous uh, session. Okay. Uh, base, can can you uh, help me to you know go go ahead with the complete explanation on that? Uh, basically, uh, I think so. Like yeah, yeah, sure. So what map string do is now I have written a logic like where I'm finding if I'm getting a numeric value, it should be replaced with soft. If not, then it should replace with mule. So I have written M2 in this two is a numeric value. So the two is replaced with soft. And the non numeric value, which is am, that is replaced with mule. Uh, if, but hmm. uh, let me let me let okay, me let me explain like, you. Then we can have question. Just let me explain this because you are not mm -hmm. there. So again, in this case, is lower. So I am checking like if I have a lower character in my string, so that should be replaced with soft and the other with mule. So now if I write two one and two s like two lower cases and two non lower cases. So it is replacing the known lower with mule mule and the lower with soft soft. OK, so this is what this particular uh, function do. Yeah, now you can say what like you had a question. Uh, I think like it's clear. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so basically what, which, like whatever mm -hmm. the character we are finding like based mm -hmm. on like uh, uh, in the first first uh, string. So mm -hmm. can you put two M two? So basically M2, M2, M2 like that M2 M2 like this. 
no, no, two M two. Two M two, okay. Two M. Yeah, it would be like soft mule soft. Yeah, so it soft. it works on single single character of the string you have provided, not on a complete string. Okay. Now what the discussion was, what I was trying now. People ask like, what if I don't want to give the if condition without giving if condition if I want to try. So we were just checking like what all the possible syntax we can try. Like if we'll see the syntax, so it is saying like you need to give your string, then your uh, mapper uh, function, and then you can also give it like this, like a character as a string. Okay, and the index number. So we were just trying like how that is possible. So if I remove this, okay, and if I just put soft. So this is also possible. So it is removing all the character, okay, and it is doing that. But what if I need to put it on a single index? So I was just thinking like how we can do that, or maybe like if anyone can help me with this, like understanding this one. Uh, I think you can pass the just an index value or a. I tried that. I tried that, but that is not taking. That's giving me error. So comma uh, not, is comma. Not, mm -hmm. uh, not in the back actually. Uh, can you give it in the front? Okay, like this you're saying. In comma, yeah. So comma is not working. That's what. Uh, why comma? So comma is not working. So there is some other thing we need to uh, do. Then, uh, uh, after the bracket, can you give? Uh, after this. Array of, yeah, after, like array of one, like you know. Uh, array of where, one, okay. Uh, Abhishek, I think okay. Abhishek, one thing like the definition itself, it says like it applies on each and every character. <coughs> you cannot apply for it to a single string. Just check the definition one. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what we're trying. Like, uh, so it is saying index number. So it is taking yeah one by one everything it is taking. So it's not possible like. Uh, it is possible uh, without if, but not possible to have it on a single string itself. Can you so go you, to documentation, Abhishek? Like you can get the definition there. It applies on each and every character of a string. Uh, basically, like okay, so I, I I totally agree with you. Like even if you open the documentation, okay, if mm -hmm. it is for the character, that should be okay. I'm totally uh, yeah. But basically, if it each and every character, I think like will be have a rights to select only one character based Correct. on the. Like, so for that uh, either we need to give a if condition so like that's what we need to do i we need to give a like a, one more thing we can try is with the if like let us try with if where i just want to change one character but i don't want to change all now suppose i am using this now if suppose if i am treating it of as your, my uh, the character of like single like, like dollar yes, of one yes 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 yep. Uh, Abhishek, I can. Uh, I think you can try with the dollar dollar for uh, if you want to try for an index. Dollar yeah. dollar work. No need to create a, another variable. You can something. remove is numeric and you can put dollar dollar equal to something. Cool. For yeah. value, you are saying correct. Character. Suppose uh, I do it for dollar dollar doesn't work. It should be dollar only. Dollar only. Yeah. And uh, that too also doesn't work in this oh, way. Dollar, dollar, you need to give the index, uh, not the string. Dollar of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, let me try that. Okay, you are saying dollar dollar, and uh, index. Suppose uh, I give uh, it as uh, zero. Okay, and then what? Like, how will I provide the value over here? Uh, just try to close that one. Yes, yeah, sure. one minute. Oh, uh, maybe I need to remove a bracket from this. No, 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 this is not the syntax how it will work. So let me do one thing. Let me try the payload thing which I was trying. Let us try in that way. Maybe OK, so we are using dollar. OK, if. If oh, uh, yeah. If dollar 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 represent value, okay. If dollar dollar is M, mm -hmm. suppose like this. If we try, yeah, yeah. Then soft else mule, but it's not working out. Like I wanted M to have soft and else to be this. So what's giving comparing number with M? Okay. Dollar dollar is giving uh, me index. Why it's giving me index? It should be value. Uh, okay, now it works with index like this. Yep. 
Now, if I give it one, yeah, it worked like this. I can give, but that is again, we are giving if else condition. But our point was, what if I don't want to give if else condition? Oh, uh, no. Our yeah, query was that. But got that point. Oh, can you give the index as a two, two or three or some other values? Which is there? not exist. Okay, two doesn't exist. That's why it is taking oh, else. Yeah. But, it, but but the point is again like if it it is working on if else condition and the scenario which I have shown that is also working with if else. It is well, the point is what if I do want to give if else so it will work only for one case which is like this and that is also remove like each character then it will replace each character with this because I'm not providing any if else condition. So this uh, is one possible yeah, syntax. Basically like what 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 what's our request is like out of like we have a 10 character. Okay, Correct. so let's assume as Abhishek. Okay, yeah. just want to replace K with uh, some other characters. So Correct. I just want to replace K with uh, Kashyap or Kumar or anything like that. So. so the point is again, we need to use if else only. Correct, in that also we need to use if else. Okay, now suppose I put it here payload itself. Let us try this. So OK, I need to give a bracket. I'm doing just, something just wrong. Something like, uh, this case actually I just want to remove M, M should be there. I just want to remove two with uh, Abhishek. Yeah, so index two. So say Abhishek. OK, now else uh, what I can do is else. Uh, just empty string should be fine. No, then it will it will empty M also now. It is not representing M because I am so anything which matches with index one will replace with Abhishek, but else part will be okay. removed. Yeah, that's what I, it is I doing. Got the actually, basically it's yeah. trying it like you know uh, based on the index value, like whatever it is. Correct. One. So can't we run with all the characters? Same all way, the like. I am I need to give some value and two I need to give some value. So suppose another character is there in the each character a separate separate value. So can we give that each character with separate separate value? Correct. Means can we you hello, like that hello. no, 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 you as you are saying each each index or each character should have have a different different value. You are yeah. saying that correct. So in that case you need to use nested if or switch case like if else now suppose if index is zero. Okay, then replace with a. Okay. Else uh, if, so else I, if, I got your point. Uh, I got your point. So you are yeah. saying so I we need to use a nested if. So yeah. but I don't want to use a nested if actually. Like instead of using this nested if and this function, actually I can go ahead with the for loop. I'll check each and every condition. Every see, uh, see, uh, yeah. yeah, there see then that, that logic you need to maintain, correct? There there will be ways like even even the nested if is not working over here. OK, or I am giving it wrong. OK, I'm giving it wrong. What if I do so see you need to write that logic. So the thing is if you want to do it character by character or index by index, you need to give if else condition. If you are not giving that, then if I'm only putting any other thing over here like this. OK, like this. So it will replace all the characters. The point was that the point was what if I don't want to give a if condition? Still, I want to make a change to this uh, like where I just need to remove two with some other character and I should be there. So that is not possible, which I found. We need to give a if condition over there and there we can maintain any other logic which we want like with if or nested if or a lot of thing. Correct. Okay. Uh, anyway, I, uh, I got other answer or oh, that should be fine. Yep. Yeah.